What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Iron Man's Mark V mask. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines in the center of our page to help with the symmetry of our drawing. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start at the very top. It's gonna to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. And move to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now let's add that gap in between the eyes. Leaving a gap in the center, let's move over towards the left, draw a straight line going up towards the top of our page, and I'll bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Now let's take that same distance over towards the right side and do the same thing. Going up towards the top, and then all the way down. Now from this center line, we're just gonna curve the brow going out and then up towards the left, towards the side, and I'll do the same thing on the right, just bending this up. Now from here, we're gonna block in the eyes. From this point, let's step down, draw a straight line going across, and then we'll line that up on the right. Let's angle this up and out towards that center line. And then pull that up and then in towards that curve. Now from the outside of the eye, let's step out, draw a straight line coming down, bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Now let's take that distance over on the right and do the same thing. And we're also gonna extend that line going up towards the top. Now from the left side, on this point, we're gonna step down, we're just gonna curve the cheekbone, coming in, and then bend that down towards the bottom, towards that inside line. To right about there. Let's line up the top over on the right and do the same thing. Coming in, and then bending that down. Let's close off the bottom of the chin with a straight line. And then from the two corners, angle this down and out on the side. And then again, closing this off with a straight line. Now from the bottom of the chin, we we'll step up and add a seam going across. We'll step up again, draw another line going all the way across from left to right. Now you want to line up the jaw with this line. So we'll extend this out toward the left and right side. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the cheeks. I'm just going to bend this down and then in towards that line. And then draw a straight line coming down and in towards the outside of the chin. Let's go back to the outside corner of the mouth. Draw a straight angle line coming down and out and we'll go up and out with a short line. And then from the corner of the mouth, we're gonna go up and then bend that out underneath the cheek. From this bottom corner, angle is down and out towards that bottom line. I'm gonna fold this line coming down across the chin and we'll angle this back up towards this trim line. Let's move up and close off the top of the head. We're gonna start right about here. It's gonna go up in the middle, round up the head, and then pull that back down on the right. And we can always come back and readjust the height later. From the corners of the head, step in, and bend this out, and then down towards the side of the head. Let's add the ear covers along the side. From this curve, draw a straight line going out, curve this around, and then in towards the bottom, Pull that straight in towards the side. Let's add a little bit more detail to the top of the head. So right about here, draw a straight line going across. I'm just gonna bend this out and up towards the top. I'm just gonna readjust the height of the head. We're gonna come down, add a curve. Now we'll go in and erase the top of the head and some of these guidelines. And once we cleaned up our drawing, we're gonna go back and add a second level of detail and modify our proportions. Let's start with the eyes. And then draw the inside, and just work our way out. Going across the bottom, then the eye going out and then up towards the side.
We have a trim along the outside of the eye, and then along the bottom. And we'll just work our way around the outside of the head. Now again, we could just re-modify the shape of the head. Just pulling that up a little bit higher in the middle. Adding those seams across the face. Again, just lightly blocking this in. Also, working on the placement of the mouth. Once we're happy with the proportions of the face, we'll go back in and darken up our contrast and continue to add some more details. So I'm going to start with the eye area, just redefining those edges. And we'll darken up the inside of the eyes, working around that trim. shade in that trim. I'm also going to lightly add that bevel just up above the brow line and all the way across. I'm just going to darken up that area just underneath the chin to create some shadow. Just working our way across the jawline. I'm just going to shade in the area just underneath the cheeks and then just blend that down. I just want to add a slightly darker tone along the side of the jaw.
I'm just gonna go back and add that shadow just underneath the brow, across that bevel. And to give the head some shape, we're gonna add a shadow along the side and then fade that in. Also adding a bit of reflection on the center of the face. I'm also gonna fade that out toward the side. Just gradually darkening up the center. I just want to darken up that shadow across the top of the head and then fade that down. Continue that reflection on the top of the head. And we'll darken up the sides to just round up the head.
Now, as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Iran's Mark V mask. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like because I'm sharing new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.